makes you that sad. I will die by your hand. Hope you find out what you want. I already know what I am. Hi everyone. So a long time no talk, but I finally come back and. This is going to be one of my favorite do-it-yourself tutorials that I have done so far. And it is very affordable, it's under $10 and it's super easy, I feel like anyone can do this. It's a little bit time consuming, but hey, what DIY isn't? I don't know why I had to like think about that. So those who have been following me on Instagram, I have posted a bunch of pictures kind of teasing you guys of my um, do-it-yourself ombre jeans and these I actually got from a thrift store and I made them into what you see here so if I can do it you can do it too this is what the jeans originally looked like I got them at a thrift store for $2.99 yep $2.99 that is amazing I kind of try to look for like the old thicker grained um, jeans that they used to sell in the early 90s and I found these they're uh, New York and company jeans I think and I am just using a pencil. You can use chalk or pencil or fabric chalk or whatever it is to draw out lines on where you want to cut your jeans. So you're going to do a blunt cut. This is like kind of just a guesstimation cut. So you can cut this longer. We're just trying to get the fabric out of the way so that we can uh, work on shaping how short you want your jeans to be and how you want it to look. A technique that I found that was really easy to do was that after you cut it and you want the same length, you just kind of fold it over and then trace that uh, previous cut. After you're done, put this bad boy on one more time to see how the fit is. And it will not look good or flattering or anything because we were just trying to get some of the material off so we can work with shaping on how the final cut will be. So a little is more, I would say if you don't want to destroy the pair of jeans, just cut a little and then put it on to try it and, you know, repeat that process. I, on the other hand, have tried cutting shorts in um, the past and so I kind of have knowledge of how I want the shorts to be on my body. I am going for an angled cut in the front and then on the back I'm the exact same thing. Uh, but remember that since you have some curvature on uh, your buttocks that you want the jeans to be a little bit longer in the back than the front. So now let's work on cutting um, on one leg and I'm just following my trace and doing that slight angle so it's going to go from short to like going downwards um, towards the inner thigh and then an easy way to replicate the same length is just to trace it um, over on the other leg with that leftover piece of fabric. So that is what I am doing. Now for the back side, you are going to follow where you ended your other cut, but just cut a little bit less than um, the front side. As you can see, I have about an inch off to that where my butt sits, it'll be fully covered. You can make it any way you want. You don't have to follow these instructions. They're just little tips that I've experienced uh, through the whole shorts cutting period or process. I don't know why I said period. Process. Um, but yeah, if you want it short in the back and long in the front, you know, be my guest, do it. But this is what I found looked best on my body type, which is kind of curvy in the bottom. Um, a very petite also, I'm only 5'1". Now to replicate the other leg, you just simply fold over and kind of trace where you cut before and you should have some even jeans. Oops, phone, hold on. So I think I'm very happy with these high-waisted shorts and the way it looks on my body. So let's move on to some bleaching. Get any kind of generic brand bleach you can find. It's really cheap, around like a buck or two. And I'm going to put it in a spray bottle. I actually added like a little bit of water, not very much and I am just spraying, concentrating on the bottom edges of the jeans. Because you're making this like an ombre gradient effect, you want the bottom to be very pronounced, very bold, and then slowly fading, you know, into the color that's up top. So uh, make sure that you concentrate on the bottom, and then you can lightly start working your way upwards. It is also important to do this while it is sunny because the process will be sped up from the heat and the light of the sun. 
so if it's a little shady where you are it will still work but it'll just take a lot more time than um, if you're doing it in the sun so I definitely recommend sunny weather it's the best weather to do it and I definitely recommend doing it outside also because of the fumes bleach does not smell pleasant so yeah I want a place that is well vented um, I did not want to do this in my house because I probably suffocate from the smell of the bleach. Alright, so it's going to be the back side. You're going to do the same process, concentrating on the bottom and then lightly spraying on top. And this spray technique is great for ombre jeans because it gives you the ombre effect. Um, I actually learned this technique from Andrea's Choice. Thank you for making her awesome rainbow shorts video because I learned so much on dyeing and bleaching um, but yeah so here's a final look and you're just gonna wash it out with water and I am using these tong things to create a destroyed effect on the bottom edges be very gentle because I actually ripped my jeans and I will play you this process in slow-mo here I was going too hard I accidentally ripped them because they've been bleached and they're wet so yeah, be very, very careful when you're doing this. Be more gentle than I was because I definitely learned from my mistakes. Next off, you're gonna fold the fabric where you wanna cut your holes. If you want holes at all, you don't have to have them. This is what I prefer on my jeans. Um, remember that you don't wanna cut the pocket because you are gonna use it eventually to put things in your pockets when you're you know, walking around or whatever. So be careful not to cut the pockets. And also, um, which I something that I learned from this whole process is that after you do this and you wash your jeans, please, please, please put it in those netted bags for like delicate items because these holes and the way the fabric is bleached has made it so um, not durable. It's very, very fragile. So please use um, one of those delicate uh, bag thingies, netting. I don't know what they're called, but when you're doing the laundry. Now, after your shorts are spiffy clean, you can have the choice to put some embellishments on it. And I have here some um, star embellishments. I got the idea from Romwe, which is my current favorite online website. I'll link the site below if you're interested. It's really affordable. Um, I just love their clothes. I've been shopping there so much, a little bit too much. But so you're going to press down on the nail, or the nails the little studs to make sure that they're in place um, and then you're gonna do the other side. This actually took a really long time. The glue in the back was not a lot so that it took forever for the stars to be actually attached to my shorts. So yeah, it was definitely a long process. This is probably one of my favorite pieces of detailing on these jeans. It's a peace sign that I got from Michaels. Oh, all of these embellishment things are from Michaels, Arts and Crafts, by the way. And here is your final look. All right, so if you're contemplating on doing this or not, definitely do it because it was really easy. Like I was surprised what a simple process it was to make a pair of 299 jeans into these high-waisted shorts. So do it. And um, yeah, I saw these like at department stores or just stores and they were like around $50, which was way too high for me to spend so I just decided to you know try to make them and it worked out so well so I hope you guys have fun with your uh, projects if you actually attempt to do it and I will see you guys next time thank you for watching and follow me on Instagram you're probably so sick of hearing me say this but I just had the new account and stuff so yeah follow me all right bye